Hey everyone, welcome to another interview with another very special person, Ruthwik. He recently got a full-time job at Google and today we are going to talk everything about how he got it, uh, what are some of the tips and tricks uh, that he used and learned along the way in this interview. Before we do that, let's hear a little bit from you, Ruthwik, about yourself. Sure, sure, sure. Hi, Nitin. First of all, thank you for inviting to this. Uh, yeah, let me introduce myself. I'm Ruthwik Krishnamurthy. I finished my master's recently from North Carolina State University. And before coming to my master's, I was working as a software engineer back in India, in Bangalore specifically. And I did my undergrad in BMS College in Bangalore. So yeah, after finishing my master's, I've joined Google now. So it's been two weeks, two exciting weeks. So it's going good now. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's very awesome. I think Google is definitely a dream company for everybody. Yeah, definitely. I could say that. Uh, so huge congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you it's a big deal. Uh, and I think that's what we want to learn from you in this interview. You know, well, uh, a lot of the people who are watching, they mm-hmm. themselves are dreaming about getting into FANG or at least right. something in FANG. So right. this is a special conversation. Yeah. So you said you did your master's from NCSU. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now that's on the East Coast. Google is right. all the way on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a, a time difference that you might be facing right now with a three hour difference. True, true, true. I also did my internship here at Zscaler. Okay, so, Zscaler. Yeah. I mean, I manifested when I came here <laughs> last summer. So that kind of worked, I guess. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. nice. So uh, I know you you mentioned before offline when we were talking that you also got a job with Amazon. Yes. Right? That's so right. that yeah. makes it two fan companies. Uh, right. So yeah. this, this is going to be a good conversation. Right, right. In uh, fact, I joined Amazon. So I worked there for one month. And when I joined Amazon, within a week, I got to know that I cleared Google interview. I mean, just before joining uh, Amazon, uh, in the last week, I mean, before joining Amazon, I gave my Google interview. So mm-hmm. usually they take two to three months to process everything. So I couldn't risk it. So I had to join Amazon. Yeah. 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 So that was the thing. So once I got Google and the team, I I also like the team as well. Nice. And that was in Sunnyvale. So I also like the location here. So everything worked out. So I finally moved here. That is nice. That is nice. So let's, I think that's a good, uh, Mm -hmm. good point to ask. Maybe can you give us a walkthrough of what, what were the rounds of interviews that you went through and what was the whole process like Mm -hmm. uh, for you from start to end? Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, I mean, I was madly scrolling LinkedIn when I didn't have any job. So I used to see all the latest job postings and everything. So on April 5th, actually, I saw a posting on LinkedIn saying uh, Google early career role is, has been posted. But when I clicked on it, I, I got to know that, uh, I mean, they have not opened the role. So they mentioned they'll open the role on April 7th and it will close on April 9th. So I kept a reminder saying that, uh, I mean, I started checking in the previous night itself. April 6th night itself, I was checking by 12 one o'clock and everything in the evening, in the night. So it was not open. So in the morning, when I checked around nine, six, nine, seven, I got to know that it was open. So it opened like seven minutes ago. So within one minute, I had my, I had my resume ready. I had a referral ready and everything was ready. So I applied uh, to the Google role, uh, to this particular role within eight minutes. Mm. So I think maybe that might have also helped in, uh, I mean, I don't know, but yeah, it might have also helped. Nice. So that that is one thing, and uh, other things are like, are like similar. I had a one round screening, and after clearing screening, I got to know uh, after a week uh, saying that I cleared the screening, and then I mean, it's a very big process. They took around two months, but yeah, after that, I had a virtual on site, which was four rounds, and in in that one interviewer didn't join, so I had to reschedule that. So again, uh, one week got postponed. So th- th- that was it. that's it. Got it. Got it. So in the screening round, <clears throat> in the screening round, was it like a lead code uh, type yeah. of round? Yeah, it was lead code round. But I've heard from a few other people, they also had online assessment. Mm. So I don't know how it works, but uh, a few people got a uh, screening round directly and few people had to get assessment and then, uh, then, uh, then the screening round. round. Yeah. So uh, it depends, I guess. And since I had two uh, years of experience, that might have helped me skip the uh, assessment, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the so, how many questions you had to solve? Was it like yeah. two questions or one question? I mean, in all the rounds, uh, basically it was only one question, but with a harder follow up. Mm-hmm. So, we can't consider that as two questions, but uh, the initial question will be a little bit easy or medium, uh, but follow-up will be definitely medium to hard. Mm, got it, got it, got it. And interviewers will be helpful. Like if you ask, like if you direct the interview such that they can give some hints and if you use that hints correctly, you, you'll be able to answer. You'll be able to answer. Yeah, yeah. So obviously this lead code mm-hmm. takes some practice. So had 
had you done like what was your prep like with lead code over the period of like let's say 2 years because i know you got yeah. got internship as well so you right. probably had prepared lead code so what was your strategy yeah uh, so i would say i was i mean i might be lucky because i used to have interviews always so i used to interview with some company at some other time i mean uh, for the internship i started interviewing in january itself mm. and by the time uh, by march i had a internship mm. so i was constantly interviewing and that helped me like uh, get motivated and prepare for it but even without that it's better to be prepared and uh, may, i know many people will start preparing lead code when they get an interview so usually companies won't i mean few of the companies will wait because uh, they will hire for generic role like google they, it won't be team specific but uh, in sa- certain other companies it will be team specific mm. so if you postpone the interview too much you might miss out the chances yeah. so it's better to be prepared and i would say as far as lead code is uh, is a concern so uh, it's better to be prepared for need code on 50 so that's the bare minimum you need to be prepared for mm. because that will cover all the basic concepts and with certain hints even you can solve all the hard uh, questions if you if you are well versed with the need code on 50 Mm. that's what i would say and if you're prepared with need code on 50 when you get an interview uh, it will be easier to prepare for uh, it it will be easier to research about the company and also uh, you can do uh, company tagged questions in need code yeah. uh, especially at google uh, i mean they don't ask question directly from need code so i had to go to i mean last two months uh, in need code discuss they used to many people used to share their experiences like google experiences mm-hmm. i used to solve those questions so since i i solved need code on 50 before because i i've interviewed interviewed with 10 other companies before google mm-hmm. so all all of those rejects kind of helped me to get into this because yes, this i was constantly preparing for other interviews yeah yeah so i think that's that a, that's a good good advice of continuously interviewing because yeah. you are you have that rhythm of yeah. interviewing and whatever right. you miss in one obviously round yeah. you would prepare that and next you would not make the same mistake so right. that definitely right. helps and keeps yeah. you you know uh, uh thank you i think that i think the uh, for everybody who is watching what i will do is i'll put the link to the need code 150 yeah. uh, or the lead code 150 in the description so that all you can have access to it i know there's another one which is uh, need code 250 or around 300 yeah. also there so yeah. generally that much is enough to start with at least you know yeah. uh, and if you do those seriously you would uh, generally be okay right right yeah and uh, when you start lead coding it's uh, i mean i've used skyver as well take you forward you know that has helped me a lot because he explains that in a very specific way he'll take 30 to 40 minutes to explain a problem so mm-hmm. if you understand that properly you you'll be able to solve 10 similar problems easily yeah. so that also helped me so i think these two are the major resource for lead code and nice. uh, i mean google didn't have system design but mm-hmm. nowadays many other companies are asking a system design even for entry level uh, roles yeah So it's better to be prepared for that as well so uh, i would say hello interview for high level design will be very helpful especially for meta sg2 and all i interviewed for that as well Mm-hmm. Uh, so this system design really helped me a lot for them got it yeah. got, got it so you said the first round was screening and then the other yeah. one was virtual uh, on site so in the virtual yeah. on site you had four round yes. so in those four rounds would mm-hmm. were all the four rounds lead code qu- type questions or they were like behavioral and like uh, manager round as well yeah so three rounds were dsa mm-hmm. and one was basically googliness and okay. uh, I, I told you right i uh, i've interviewed for amazon as well so i was prepared for all the behavior the leadership and behavior yeah, and coaching so yeah at amazon they value it a lot so i was yes. prepared so i didn't have to prepare again for this so um, it was basically to align with the google values so whatever mm. they have, whatever values that they have it's basically aligning with that so, yeah. so uh, i mean it, it it's better to be prepared for all the behavioral questions always so that uh, at the last moment you'll just skim through it and you'll be able to answer everything yeah yeah that's what um, yeah and i think one of the methods that you can use is the star method and once you yeah. have all your stories right Yeah. um based on different values if you have your stories right uh, where what you what was the situation what was your contribution what was the impact <laughs> that way i think uh, it definitely helps right uh, yeah so i think moving on obviously mm-hmm. uh, so this was the whole process now yeah. obviously as you rightly said you have to prepare over a period of time not yeah. not that you get a job you get a call and you prepare that time mm-hmm. so from a perspective of somebody who is coming for masters right, right. what yeah. are some of the habits that they can start building right at the beginning so that yeah. they get the internship and they get the full time as well right right 
So I know many people won't have LinkedIn profile as well, like before they come to mm-hmm. master. So it's better to build your connection before because they, they'll have a like a weekly invitation limit, right? And mm-hmm. it's, I mean, if you already built a connection, so it's easier to uh, get a jo- job opportunity immediately when you come to US. So it's always better to reach out to seniors and uh, their connections. And you'll have certain target companies in your mind, right? Mm-hmm. So it's better to reach out to some of the software engineers who work there and ask about how is the process and uh, in a uh, few companies referrals matter a lot so mm. if you build a connection before and uh, if they think you are a right fit for that so they might if, if if there's an opening in their team itself so they might reach out to you early so you uh, i know one of my friend actually the role was not even open but he mm. randomly called me the hiring manager and they reached out to him mm. and uh, he, he he applied even before the role got open to public nice uh, that will give us the highest chance of getting the interview, getting the job, right? If if you yeah. properly, right? so it's always better to uh, reach out. And nowadays, because of the information, like everybody will have YouTube and everything, because everybody will know what to do. Yeah. So reaching out to people, cold cold messaging and everything, it's not an option anymore. It's not a special thing to do. Everyone yeah. need to do. Correct. That is one of my suggestion. I would say. Nice. Uh, keep your connection ready. Uh, and also, uh, you can start. I, I mean, uh, lead code and other things. You can start because once you graduate in, I mean, once you finish your undergraduation, you can start lead coding. So yeah. even uh, before coming to this, I might have solved sixty to seventy lead code problems, and I didn't know. Uh, like many concepts over there still yeah. i was able to get a job over there but here it's uh, it's a cutthroat market and you need to you need to be prepared properly to crack a yeah. job yeah and also uh they getting an interview was not a difficult thing clearing was a difficult here getting an interview itself is a, a big uh, roadblock so you need yeah. to be prepared for everything yeah 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 and i think one of the things that i uh learned over a period of time is network is something which takes effort like you have to yeah, yeah. reach out to these people who are working in the industry you, you have to yeah. seek help otherwise nobody is going to help you anyways right yeah. so and it takes time like every week you will connect with a few folks some of right. them will reply most of them might not reply but you have to yeah. get through it and kind of uh, build your network list yeah it, it's better to find a common connection so they might be your seniors or if you finished your undergraduation, they might have come here to masters and they might have joined some company. So yeah. there, there'll be a lot of common connections. I worked for a company called Athena back in India. So there there was a lot of seniors from that company as well. Mm. And I, I, as I told, I I studied at BMS and there were a lot yeah. of seniors who did uh, like who did study in, at BMS. BMS. And uh, of course, I mean, I, I was in NCSU. So there were a lot of NCSU seniors. In fact, Google referral, I got it from an NCSU senior. Mm. So uh, there's a higher chance of getting a reply from a common connection rather than a, uh, some random stranger. Random person. So uh, that, that's better, I would say. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I think that definitely helps. Now, I think the last question I have is uh, about the job market. Like what what is, since you just got a job, yeah. what is your overall feel about the uh, job market? Is it tough to get a job? Is it easy to get a job? How How is it? Is it improving? What is your take? Yeah, uh, I would say it's, it's definitely improving, but it's not at all easy to get a job. Uh, I mean, once you prepare for one, two years, after getting a lot of rejections, you'll understand the uh, main beat of the uh, job market, what needs to be done to get a, a call back and everything. So whatever I tell without like, you have to experience it to it's an experience thing, thing. <laughs> so many people will uh, see a lot of youtube videos and do all of this but without experience they they won't be able to like get a call back immediately yeah understand so the gravity experience. of this <laughs> yeah and i would say uh, i mean it's definitely difficult uh, and it also depends on the circle i had a very good uh, circle like good uh, set of friends who are actively interviewing who are actively applying and they knew what to do mm. so uh, I was able to get a lot of help from them uh, regarding how to apply, what needs to be done, how to prepare. And they took a lot of mock interviews from me. Like uh, that, these things really helped me a lot. So it's it's always good to have a better set of friends who is really helpful. And uh, I mean, there'll be friends who are competitive, but it's also, uh, I mean, they'll also help you, right? So it's yeah. always better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you mentioned a very nice point that having a good circle of those four or five friends around you yeah. who are... Yeah. Uh, who are more fired up about yeah. getting a job, getting an internship, right. studying in general, then yeah. you definitely helps. I think that's a big game changer because yeah. if the friends around you are just having fun and they're saying, okay, yeah. we have time, we'll figure it out. Then probably you will be 
just like that <laughs> you yeah, know that's so. what happened happened with me as well so i mean during the internship time uh, during december i was like having fun and everything and one of my friend uh, really like he used to come to us every day and he used to tell me start lead code start lead code it's it's a difficult market you need to start now otherwise yeah. it's so me and my roommate started lead code during that time and uh, we were able to like pick the pace when the uh, interview we started getting interviews yeah yeah so having a good set of friends really helps yeah no i i know you're from ncsu yeah. so in ncsu you probably have on the east side we probably have uh, either you go to new york uh, mm-hmm. a little bit in the midwest chicago boston area yeah. or you find a job in the research triangle which is around the uh, ncsu right. area yeah. right so what's the pattern you are seeing there like are are people move, generally moving to west coast because there are more jobs in west coast or how, how are they getting what's the pattern you are seeing there yeah many people got a job in research triangle park as well uh I mean it's easier to get a job over there because there will be a lot of networking events that is happening over there mm. and you can attend that and you'll be able to build connections because if you meet in person it's it will be even better to build a connection yeah yeah so many of my friends got a job in rtp as so got. it depends but uh, yeah there are certain companies uh, who will have a very generic interview process so you'll have to go through uh, you'll have to apply at a certain time and you have to do certain things to get into it but uh, networking at see, these companies will uh, really help uh, i mean at rtp companies uh, they won't have a generic interview process so it depends on the person if, i mean if their team is hiring they'll open a role yeah and, uh, if you reach out to them early you will get a job yeah, yeah that's nice that's nice i think well that completes our conversation for today uh, rutvik thank you so much for taking out time yeah. for everybody who is watching definitely share your favorite takeaway in the comment section below do like share and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next week thank you thank i you. hope this helps to everyone yeah for sure it will help <laughs>